So there is one data set we haven't really looked at very much. So let's try and look at that. So we have these shopping bills from different shops. Mm. So maybe one thing like which might be interesting is to find out which shop is doing well, which is the most successful doing, shop. Doing well is how do you define that? Doing well. Doing well, well as in. Uh, well, I suppose uh, one way of measuring it is how many people go there. So, how many times they how actually… How many people go there, but they may not buy anything. So, and we don't have a record how many people go there. Football. Okay. So, probably how many bills… How many bills they generated. So, okay. how many bills they generated. Yeah. Okay. How many bills they generated. So, want to go through that? I mean… Okay. So, now… We need to go through all the… all the, Correct. All the bills here. So, we are going to count bills for each shop. We are going to count. So, but there are many shops. We don't know how many shops there are. Uh, so, we have to keep track of many counts. So, in the earlier case when we had the marks, we were counting the number of girls and boys. We knew there were only two categories, girls mm. and boys. Now, here we, we don't know how many stores are there to start with. You may see more stores. So, what I would suggest is Can that we, we separate it out by store and then do it? I mean, split it. Yeah. So, you may get multiple piles, one for each store and then, then you do the count. Yeah, we could do that. So, we could go through all the things once and then segregate them into different shops and then count each pile but that seems a bit wasteful no we have to go through i mean there must be a way to do it in one one single iteration yeah the, you can i mean it, it looks it looks like it should be doable in one iteration but here the problem is like unlike what we saw earlier we don't know how many stores there are yeah so, so we have to we have to keep a count for every store because for every store every bill that we see we have to add one but so our problem we don't is know how many stores we are there. don't know how many stores so let's just do one thing every time we see a new store we will start a new count Right? So, we do not know how many count, we know that every count starts with 0 because so what you are saying no is that uh, when we see the first store, we will do what? We will start a new count. Yeah. So, we will keep some different counts. counts. We will keep count, count maybe the name store. of the shop. Name of the right? shop. And then uh, if we see a card and that card has a store name which is already present, then we add one, add one to it. Yes. But if we see a card which has a store name which is not present, then we have to start a new count. Yes, we have to start a new count. So, right. which means that we have to add one more card. Correct. One more variable. One more variable. And we will start from 0. All for that variable, we will we'll start. Variable and we will uh, we'll add. Oh, okay. Let us try that. Okay. Let us try that. Okay. So, here we are doing the same thing, iteration. We are moving the cards to a different pile. Yeah. So, the first card has SV stores on it. Okay. So, this is a new card. New card. And so, let us write the name of the shop SV. So, you should start with something which is zero. initially 0, yeah, but we are seeing we the are first seeing card. card. So, I will make it 1. Make it 1, yeah. Um, now, we have a new new uh, shop. shop. Right. So, this, this is, is not SV store. So, not so SV start stores. a new card. So, you will start a new variable. New variable. Which is Big Bazaar, mm. which represents the count of Big Bazaar initially 0, yeah. but because we have seen Big Bazaar now. We will make it 1. one. Now, we are seeing SV stores again. Uh -huh. So, now okay. it is one of those we have seen. So, we, so we should take that variable which and is add 1 to it. Add 1 to it. So, SV stores is now 2. All right. One more SV stores. So, now so this becomes 3. 3. All right. Now, we have one more big bazaar this time. Okay. So, this now this bazaar. becomes 2. Okay. Oh, here is another store, right? This oh, is Sun, Sun General. General. Okay. So, let us Sun General. Sun General. So, we need yet another card or yet another variable really. So, we are seeing that more and more variables are getting generated actually in this, right? Yes. So far in all the other things, we had a fixed number of variables. Yeah, we knew in advance how, how many, many variables things we needed to keep track of. Here we do not know we in don't advance. Know. Ah, so, so, we are adding more variables. So, Sun General is a variable 0. We have seen this card now. So, so now it is 1. SV stores. Okay. So, that becomes 4. Big Bazaar. Okay, so, that becomes 3. Big Bazaar. Also 4. Sun General. That becomes 2. SV stores. Okay, that becomes 5. Sun, Sun General. It's 3. Big Bazaar. Becomes 5. Sun General. Becomes 4. Sun General. Becomes 5. Sun General. 6. SV Stores. 6. SV Stores. 7. SV Stores. 8. SV Stores. 9. 1 more SV Stores. 10. Sun General. 7. SV Stores. 11 SV stores 12 Sun General 8 SV stores 13 Sun General 9 SV stores 14 SV stores 
15 and then a big buzzer 6. So, according to this definition which is the number of bills, number of bills that is number of people who actually bought something from the shop yeah. no, number of in unique purchase yeah. purchases right. Yeah. So, for SV stores the total, total is 15. 15 for big bazaar the total is 6, six. and for sun general the total is 9. So, if you want to find who out of these is doing the best. One way is to just look at the maximum of these. So, after you finish after you finish counting all of them then you can count the one maximum. One more you will do because we do not know how many are there here. Yes. You could have any number here. So far we have 3, yeah. but it could have been any number. Correct. So, you will go through this list again. So, yeah. a second iteration Correct. through so this we, list. Yeah. So, it is as though we had these 3 cards, cards one on top of the other and, and you find the maximum. Say, okay, now, this is maximum is 15. 6 is smaller move it aside, 9 is smaller move it aside and so 15, 15 is, is the highest. Yeah. So, this is how we would do that. Could we do it without having to do a second iteration through these cards I mean do it in one shot uh, Keep, find the maximum without having to first generate the counts. Okay. So, we could do that I guess we could keep. So, we at while we are doing the cards the counts are not yet complete. Hmm. Right, we have how many of each we have seen so far. Yeah. But among those we can also keep the maximum we have seen so far. In a new card. In a new card. So, and you keep another variable called maximum. Yes. Which keeps the maximum of these variables. Yes. And as we go along the maximum is keeping on getting updated with the highest value of these three. Of the any of Just like three. what we have done earlier. Exactly. exactly. And at the end of it the number maximum number will be the maximum number of all of the, the three, three cards. So, that means that in one iteration without having to do it again. Yeah. We should be able to go through all these cards yeah. and find the not That's only find the number of bills for each shop, but also, but also find the maximum. Yeah. So, should those. we do that? So, we will again do it so that we do not know in advance mm -hmm. how many things there are. So, we will start I will try to do it on one card because now I know it will fit on one card. Okay. Okay. So, the first one is? It is in reverse order does not yeah, matter right yeah. I guess. Yeah, it will be in it will be matter? different. Yeah. yeah. Does I do not think it should matter. Doesn't matter so, right? it is just an iteration right. We are going through everything. We are just counting. counting. We said before we can count in any order. Uh, Even the any maximum order. in any order should be the same. Okay. So, it should not matter. Does not matter. So, yeah. we are going we are going to count. Yeah. So, okay. So, what do we do now? We are seeing the first yeah, so card. So, we have to start a count for it. So start a count. Big bazaar. Right. And keep a max somewhere at the bottom yeah, I guess. And right? Somewhere we should keep a I will keep a max on the right side maybe. Which you set to 0 I guess. Huh? Yeah. So, max should be initially 0 and we have big bazaar which is initially 0. Okay. okay. So, we have seen big bazaar. So, you can add 1 okay, to so it. So, now I will make it 1. SV stores. So, now I new start variable. a new variable for SV and I will make it 1. Oh, when I should I should have also made the max 1. Right. So, when big bazaar became 1. Max should max also be 1. Becomes 1. Now, SV store becomes 1. So, yeah. I have now 1 and 1. So, the max, max is one. May, This max one is, is not, not, not big. Max bazaar. is not yeah. changed. So, another SV stores. Okay. So, now SV stores becomes 2 and, and now 2 is greater than yeah, max. So, I should make the max into 2. 2. Okay. Sun general. Ah, so, this is a new one. New so, I will keep it here sun general and I start with 0 and I make it 1 because, because I have seen it. But the max is already 2. two so, I do not so update it. Okay. Yeah. SV. Okay. SV is 3 and Needs now max becomes max. 3. Yeah. Sun general. Okay. That is 2, but the max does not change. SV. This is now 4 and now the max is 4. SV. Aha. So, SV is now 5 the max is also 5. Sun general. Sun general is 3 but the max does not change. Mm -hmm. SV. SV is 6 and the max becomes 6. SV. 7 and the max becomes 7. SV. This is 8 and the max becomes 8. Another SV. 9 and the max becomes 9. SV. 10 and the max becomes 10. Sun. Sun goes from 3 to 4, but there is no change, change in, in the max. max. Okay. Another sun. Sun goes from 4 to 5, no change in max. Another sun. Sun goes from 5 to 6, no change in max. Big bazaar. Big bazaar goes from 1 to 2, no change in max. Sun. Sun goes from 6 to 7, no change in max. SV. Ah, SV goes from 10 to 11 and now the max goes to 11. Sun. Sun goes from 7 to 8 and there is no change. Big bazaar. Big bazaar goes from 2 to 3 and there is no change. Big bazaar. Big bazaar goes from 3 to 4 and there is no change. SV. 
S V goes from 11 to 12 and now the max goes from 11 to 12 also. Sun. Sun goes from 8 to 9 and there is no change. Big Bazaar. Big Bazaar goes from 4 to 5 and there is no change. S V. S V goes from 12 to 13 so that becomes a new number in the max. Another S V. 13 becomes 14 and again this is a new number in the max. Big Bazaar. Big Bazaar goes from 5 to 6 and SV Other SV. goes to 15 and the max goes to 15. So, we are done with all the cards, yeah. everything is in this new pile. Yeah, and now we know that the Big Bazaar there were 6, SV there were 15, S Sun General there were 9. So, we have these 3 counts which and we, we also before. have the max. But the interesting thing is in the same iteration without doing anything extra, we have also computed the max while we were doing this. So, in one single iteration, we have kept track of a variable number of counts different counts we did not know in advance that there were 3 shops, they could have been 4 shops, 5 shops and among this variable number of shops we have managed to keep the max while we were going along. So, again here we are seeing basically that we are keeping track of one max variable and unknown number of variables yes. one count variable and again at each iteration we are computing comparing the one variable with yeah, another so variable. First we are filtering according to the shop name to decide which of these which variables of these to change is, yeah. mm -hmm. and then we are comparing the changed variable with, with the another variable which is also a changing variable. Which is also a changing Two variable. Two changing variables yes. we are comparing Yes. and uh, yeah mm -hmm. and then keeping track of the max all the time. Yeah very good this okay. is this is interesting.